Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. This knife review I've got for you today is on the Gen 2 SP53 by Ontario Knife Company. I've had this knife oh, maybe about 8 years now. It's made of 5160 high carbon steel and you can see it's got a midline sabre grind here and it goes down into a convex edge. Has a bolo style blade and with a black traction coating. Now I've had this for years and that coating's still going on and I've really hammered it. Yes, it is coming off here where you can see where it does all its chopping and battening, but it's done really well. The blade itself is nine and a half inches, but I would say it's approximately a nine inch cutting edge to the finger choil. Finger choil is quite small, and over the years I've been tempted to cut off this rubber piece here to get my hand to fit in at the foreguard, but never had the courage to do it, so I've never done it. The handle is a polymer cracking handle. It absorbs the shot really good. It gives a lot of good thermal properties, and you can see it's got a lanyard hole at the rear there. This is a fantastic knife for smashing through logs, taking down big limbs off of trees. I love this knife, it can take a lot of shock and it's got a lot of power in it with the belly here. So I find it to be absolutely fantastic for my needs, especially when the weather's like this. And the temperature's actually rising today and it's just above freezing at the moment and we're getting old drips off the trees. So I'm going to need to get a fire on, so this is why I brought this up today and give this a wee try out as it's been in hibernation for a good couple of months now. I think the last time I had it out was during the summer. Overall length is 15 and a quarter inches. Uh, it's a full tang which is obviously covered in the cracked and polymer rubber handle. You can see here. The blade spine is six miles thick. So one area it sells is when it comes to sneding and delimbing any trees or logs that you've got. And I've got a frozen pine tree here to my front. And I'll just show you how good this is. This is one of the reasons I like this blade because it's so good. And the belly here gives you a lot of power when it comes to chopping. Cleared that off with the greatest of ease. So here's another area of this blade that sells at, and that is chopping. The bolo style is absolutely fantastic for doing that task. I don't know if you can make this out, but this is frozen on the outside. It's pine. So let's see how we get on with this. Straight through it, brilliant for it, and you can see it's frozen all the way through. Fantastic for doing the chopping. And the cracked and polymer handle really does help absorb the shock. Oh. 
So frozen wood, not a problem for the 5160. Takes that shop and go problem. Right, on to our next task. This is another area I feel this knife does really well at. Is battening. So there you go, you can see you can really torque on the blade, it's fine, it's true, totally straight, it's absolutely fantastic for that type of work. So it's almost like a pry bar for the woods. So there you go, reduce that stump all the way down. It's gave me all that dry wood and fat wood on the inside of that for my fire. It's a big knife for doing feathers with. But it can do them. Finger just fits in the small choil, but I think it's more of a sharpening choil rather than a finger choil because my fingers are quite fat and it doesn't quite get in it. I suppose if you've got thin fingers, it would fit okay, but no, nah, not really suitable for me. Okay. 